Hello and welcome to the section 5 Vulnerability Analysis. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about Bob Suite tool. Then we will learn about Zap tool. We will also perform WordPress Vulnerability Analysis using WP Scan tool. Then we will install and perform Vulnerability Analysis using Nessus. And finally we will learn about HTTrack tool. Using Bob Suite tool. Now in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of points first of all about burp suite tool and how we can perform vulnerability analysis using burp suite that we are going to learn here in this video. So to learn about burp suite you need to open Kali Linux and there I am going to show you about this tool. So now guys I am here at Kali Linux operating system and uh, let me show you that how you can start burp suite inside Kali Linux operating system. So first of all you can click on applications right you can come to web application analysis inside that you can see burp suite is available right here. So uh, you can click it and you can open it inside Kali Linux operating system and well this is a free edition so we can use it. If you want to purchase it then you can go to the official website to purchase the burp suite so you can cl close it and uh, you can click next and you can start burp here. So burp is starting inside Kali Linux operating system. This is burp suite free edition right. So these all are the tabs available here which can be used uh, for analysis of a website right. For example you can click on proxy inside proxy click on intercept and intercept is on. So intercept should be on right because uh, we will set the same proxy in the browser right so that we can communicate with the website then we, we can intercept the request coming from the browser right right here. You can, if you click, click on options then you can see here that uh, it is working on IP address 127.0.0.1 and port number is 8080 right. So we need to set the same IP address and port number inside our browser also. So what you can do here, uh, you can minimize it and uh, let me show you that how you can scan or how you can find the vulnerability inside a website. So you can open first of all the browser of Kali Linux operating system. Inside that uh, we are going to open a website provided by Acunitix company and it is a sample website so anyone can use it for testing purpose. So now this is the browser. Now the website we are going to use here is you can type here vulnweb.com and hit enter. So this is vulnweb.com. So first of all you can click it and open open it inside browser right here it is so this is the website testphp.vulnweb.com click it and open it right now let me minimize it let me open the burp suite here and we need to set the same ip address and port number inside burp suite so let me minimize it now inside browser you can set the proxy here so you can click here click on preferences inside preferences click advanced click network click settings and inside settings uh, first of all you can click on manual proxy settings inside you need to type the IP address which is 127.0.0.1 port number 8080 tick here use this proxy server for all protocols and remove everything from this block and click OK right so we have successfully uh, set a proxy inside our browser which is similar to Bob suite so that they can communicate with each other and uh, now what you can do here, you can simply refresh this page. Right. Obviously it will not refresh because we have set up a proxy. So now if you can see inside burp suite, burp suite can intercept the packets coming from this website. So you can minimize it, you can open burp suite and you can click on HTTP history. So you can see here that in HTTP history this website is showing here. It means that burp suite has successfully intercepted the web packets here so if you can click intercept these all are the request right 
inside it intercept it is showing you that which website is open inside your browser testphp.vulnerweb.com right now what you can do here you can right click here and you can click it add to scope right first of all we need to set it inside our scope so click add to scope and uh, you have added an item to target scope do you want burp proxy to stop sending out of scope so you can click yes so you can also right click here you can also spider it from here if you want right you let me click on spider from here so now it is going to spider you can see here that uh, the bytes are transferred let me ignore some forms here Got it and you can see here now inside sitemap you click target click sitemap and here you can see that uh, now it is showing you the website right here testphp.vulnerweb.com and what is this this is basically spidering it is showing you all the urls available in the website right you can see these all are the urls available in the website you can check here right so spidering means getting information of each and every url available in the website so we have successfully performed spidering here right so let me pause the spidering because we have already done it right so it is inside your scope you can right click here you can also perform other so you can also check other processes inside burp suite right so that's how uh, you can gather information about burp suite right click alerts you can see here information about alert is available here scanner is not available inside the free edition if you purchase it then you will get the scanner you can also scan for various vulnerabilities but it is in the paid version of burp suite right now let me show you that how you can perform a simple attack using burp suite right how you can find the vulnerability inside the login page of a website so first of all do one thing close it then we will open it again now you can open your browser change the proxy settings go to preferences click advanced click network click settings and now come back to no proxy and click ok right now you can refresh this page now uh, open the login page of this website so this is the login page click sign up right this is the login page what if I want to perform brute force attack on this website? Brute force attack means when you are trying to uh, log in inside the admin panel, but you don't have any idea about username and password. So you have a username list, you have a password list. You want to try the combination of username and password. So that we can do using Burp Suite. So how we can find out the vulnerability that uh, this website is vulnerable? So again, go back to the proxy settings. Click settings, click manual proxy. All the settings are same. Click OK. Right. Now open the burp suite. So you can click applications, select web application analysis, click burp suite, and open it inside Kali Linux. Close, click next, and start burp. Right here. OK so again we need to check the proxy first of all click options so this is already inside our browser click intercept so intercept should be on for example if it is off then you can click it and it should be on intercept is on right now uh, you can minimize it you can open the browser again and you can type any username and password any random because you, we have no idea that which is the right one so i can type for example admin is the username and admin is the password for example right and then you can click on login it will not run why because proxy settings are there now you can minimize it and open the burp suite so if you if you can check inside http history then you can see here that we got a request coming from the browser right and this is the page user info.php page right and if you click on intercept then you can see here that this is the request which is coming from the browser and we have intercepted it using burp suite free edition so to perform brute force attack to check if there are vulnerabilities or not so you can right click here and you can send it to intruder click intruder this is intruder 
click here right so now using intruder we can perform the brute force attack here so now you can go back to the positions here payloads so these all all are available here let me go back to position now you can see here that this is u name and this is pass right there are two parameters available here first of all in attack type select cluster bomb right because using cluster bomb we can uh, brute force username and password simultaneously after that what you can do here you can click on payloads inside payload set you can you will find there are two one for username and one for password so first of all for example first is for username so you need to type the dictionary here if you have a dictionary then you can basically load it from here i'm just showing you that how you can perform brute force attack for example let me type some random four or five words in which one of them is correct so for example i'm typing guest root and uh, then you can type like finally admin right like that similarly you can select the second one and you can type the password i'm showing you here using three to four words only you can also provide a complete dictionary of thousands words and then you can try brute force attack so we have selected number two here you can type the password any password will work right and hit enter so we have provided username select one this is the username list this is the password list right and now we we are able to attack on that login page so now what you can do you can write on the right hand side you can see the start attack button you can click it and click ok it will start the brute force attack here here you can see it has started the brute force attack it is taking one by one one from username one from password and now you can see here that uh, it is it is showing that 302 code up here right 302 code means basically they all are incorrect means the dictionary we have provided here is completely incorrect there is no username and password which is the right combination to log in inside that website right so our first attempt was failure let me go back let me close it and what i need to do let me add the real username and password so select one let me type the real one which is test test is the username and test is the password click add select two again you can type test here click add right now you can click start attack click ok now you will get the right username and password here it is performing brute force attack on that login page it is trying this is username this is password this is the status so you just need to check for test and test username and password and we are done here finished so you can see here that uh, these all are the username these all are the password in status if you can check and 302 means false but if you can come down to the last one you can see here that the status is 200 it means this username and the password is correct that's how you can check the vulnerability inside a website login page and how you can exploit it that i have shown you here so test is the username and test is the password you can close it you can close the burp suite go back to the website now change the proxy settings no proxy right and you can try test and test there basically now you can refresh this page and uh, now you can type username which is test and the password is test we have found using burp suite click login so here we are you can see here that we have successfully logged in in the website you can see the logout button also right so using uh, burp suite you can find out the vulnerabilities and using burp suite you can also perform exploitation you can click logout button and you can come back to the sign up page right so this is all about uh, burp suite inside Kali Linux.